Good win tonight, but the tension immediately turns to Bayside. It had some good battles with them last year. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's exactly right. Um, Bayside actually has improved tremendously over um, the offseason as well. Trevor Rodman, who was the gap coach, came over and um, brought along, you know, all his crew and whatnot, got some new players. So, you know, they put a battering on their last FFA Cup opponent. But, you know, we're looking at that and we're saying we're a whole different caliber of an opponent. So we'll go in and, you know, give it a battle. Okay, so tell us how the various sections of Ace are coming together, the defence, the midfield and the forwards. Defence starting to look quite solid and settled. Yep. Uh, me and Matt Andrews played uh, together last year, maybe, you know, the last half of the season. So we have a pretty decent understanding. Uh, the wing backs are new, but me and Jay are really clicking um, together pretty well. Um, Jamie, Buddy, um, and, you know, all the other boys that played on the left side today, you know, they're going to get it going as well. Um, the midfield, you know, our core is solid. Hamish is great. Yuya is great. Jared's great. Uh, Peter is great, you know. So once we just get that final third, um, you know, we're, we put a couple goals away today, but we could do even, you know, more. So once, you know, you kind of get that fluidity and, you know, right up top, you know, we'd be banging them home. Okay, so percentage-wise, 50% there, 60% there? Oh, you know, they're not getting much shots off, so defense maybe 70, 75. Uh, midfield, you know, they're probably about 80. They're, they're clicking. And forwards, we just got to get the right, you know, combination. Alistair's coming back, you know, from suspension, so he'll be a massive boost to us. And, you know, Adzi and Sanchez have been working hard. Okay, so looking forward to Bayside, what are the key areas you think you'll be working on this week? Definitely wing play. They have um, pretty tricky wingers, uh, a couple of Japanese lads that we know um, that, you know, can change the game. They'll be big playmakers so really just working on shape not getting caught out um, and kind of putting the pressure on them confident always <laughs>